Global Harvest, we, uh, we were asked to talk a little about giving. And uh, when I first thought about giving, the very first word that came to mind for me was trust. And so I really started to think about what that means and, and what trust means and how that all works out. And I think most of us at this point know biblically um, that if we use God's money properly, if we give of our first fruits, uh, more is going to be made of our finances and it's going to be used well. And my next thought was, well, how do we transition from knowing that biblically to applying that to our lives? And one thought I had was about our kids. And uh, when they were younger, we started a, a system where they earn a commission instead of an allowance. You know, as they would earn, they would split that up into three parts, the give, save, spend. And it's been fun to watch them and watch um, how their brains work, um, learn whether they're a giver, a saver, or a spender. And, you know, they get $50 birthday money and what do they do with that and how they break it up. And even we try not to dictate how they spend or give um, and just let them do what they want to with that. So that's been fun to see. Um, they've done all kinds of different things from a giving perspective to pouring all their money into Operation Christmas Child Box and, and getting to go purchase gifts for that. But it's been neat to watch them and watch their little brains work through that whole process. Yeah. It's funny how God will use our children to teach us, to train us. And, you know, we we learn, for me, mostly through His Word, of course, but, but I sure learn a lot watching my children and, and watching their giving hearts. And, you know, you mentioned Matt, and I'd just like to say that Listening to him with the kids has just been mm -hmm. wonderful. He really does such a great job, and these kids really enjoy him. They're drawn to him, and it's been neat to see. They're on one side of a threshold, and they're playing. They're having a good time, and I think that's going to be very, very inviting to other kids. You know, they're they're playing ping pong or whatever they're doing that's fun to them. You know, they got a lot going on in there, and then they cross that threshold, and that moves into a different time. That moves into time with God. That moves into to testimony. Um, that moves into time where Matt and others preach and teach to these kids and, and they're just doing a wonderful job and and when I saw that layout for the new building and uh, just the even everything from how colorful it was to uh, how it's set up with uh, just the kids in mind mm -hmm. I think it's going to be wonderful for the kids. I remember whenever the youth like it was whenever I first came and there was like eight people maybe and like we were in that really small back room over there <laughs> It's like a big glow up <laughs> from that. <laughs> okay, so going to work and giving 10% to the church as a tithe and instead of spending it on something you would like clothes or something like that, you'd spend it for the church because it would get you a lot further in life and others further in life than a nice shirt. Daisy, can we build it? <laughs>